Irix guy here, and you can check uh, check the link within this video's description to find where to order this monitor online. But it's an LG 4K Ultra HD, so 3840 by 2160 resolution. And I got this monitor to use in conjunction with my 2017 MacBook Pro. And uh, check the link within this video's description. You can find the cable that I'm using to connect this monitor to the 2017 MacBook Pro as well as the monitor. And a lot of people ask, hey man, why didn't you get the version of the LG monitor that has USB-C? It'll just go right into your MacBook Pro and also charge your MacBook Pro. Well, you know, check the link within this video's description because I think you'll find that the price of this monitor in comparison to one with a USB-C port is significantly different. So there's my MacBook Pro. Here's a cable I was talking about. And uh, this end is USB-C, is in Charlie. So I'm plugging that end into my MacBook Pro. And then the other end is DisplayPort, which I will plug into the rear of this big LG monitor. It's the first time I powered this on, so um, let's just see what we get here. And I'm going to plug in, these are my other USB-C cables I've got for power. Let's see, I've got a power cable. and a hard drive. So again, I'm not I'm not getting power from the LG monitor because the LG monitor does not have this LG monitor does not have a USB-C port. So I'm just plugging a plugging in a USB-C power cable, you know, no big deal. No hurt feelings or anything. And then this one right here has my wired network. So now I've got everything in there. Let's power this on for the first time. <clears throat> okay, the monitor's not on. I gotta find the power button. In the very bottom of it, it feels like a little joystick. I just pushed it. And that powered on the monitor. And now we're going to detect displays. Let's see. All I had to do is reconnect the cable because I had it connected before I powered on the monitor. But look at that. Look at how sharp that is. It says make sure to use supplied input cables. Implying that this is third party, but who cares? I'm going to say do not select this, do not display this message again. Now, I previously had a, the original. The original iMac with 5K Retina display, which was 27 inch, and obviously it was 5K. This is 4K at 3840 by 2160, and I will tell you that my initial impressions is very similar. I mean, I don't, I couldn't say this looks poor quality because it definitely looks great. It, the quality is excellent. Let's close the laptop's lid and see if we can behave as a uh, perfect. That's what I was hoping for. See, I've got, now I've got my laptop closed. I've got my Magic Trackpad 2 and my keyboard. 
So now I can use this just like a um, like a desktop computer. So this is this is wonderful. Look at that. It really is wonderful. So would I would I spend more and get an LG monitor with a USB C when I can simply use this inexpensive cable and use this monitor instead? I, I can't see the reason why. I mean, yeah, I'm not getting charging over USB C, but that's why I've got it in my second USB C power plug plugged in. So that's charging it. Sean Coonery agrees. You can hear him. Yep. But yeah, just a very nice looking display. Stay tuned for follow-up reviews. This is just the first time that I've connected this LG display to the 2017 MacBook Pro. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash iRixGuy. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, iRixGuy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.